What it do y'all? It's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you my next video in my Must I Must Gag series. This is my series I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her series and a community playlist linked down below as well as all of the Instagram pages I follow to get all of this makeup knowledge and lastly but certainly not least I have all of the items that I discuss in this video listed and linked down below. Those nine times out of ten are going to be affiliated links. I'd appreciate if you shop through them otherwise no big deal. Um, once again I did not record this look. I've honestly just been really enjoying sitting down playing with my Project Pan makeup. I'm really still aiming to hit pan on one shade from my Lime Crime XL2 palette which you guys will have seen if you um, follow me on my Project Pan Project pan journey it will be linked down below in the event that you are interested in watching my series and where i'm at in the series anyways um so i was able to play with i think two of the eyeshadow palettes and then everything else is pretty much project pan everything will be down below um in the description box as long as i have room otherwise it will be in a pinned comment and your girl is off on sunday this week so i can actually put it up on time depending on if I wake up I, w I don't know if I'm gonna wake up at six but I'll put it up if I wake up no I'll put it up as soon as I wake up tomorrow if there's not room in the description box um what did I buy this past week makeup wise I don't think I bought anything I received some things I received an Ulta order um but that was bought I think before um and I don't think I picked up anything from last week's video I really don't but I did just post a haul Saturday so if I did pick up anything it would be there I guess let me check let me let me check because I do tend to save my emails yeah I don't think I picked up anything I don't so yeah that's about all she wrote um i did really good this past week and let's see how good i can continue to be so i'm gonna scoot over we're gonna have everything over here and we're gonna see how long my battery goes because it's almost about to die so we'll see how long she wrote she wrote um maybelline is coming out with some new lip products these are in their super stay vinyl ink long wear liquid lipstick lip color line as i've said if you guys stay uh up to date on my project pan series i am not really feeling liquid lipsticks right now i really need some form of moisture whether it is a cream lipstick bullet whether it's a lip gloss a lip balm anything like that i am down for but otherwise i just cannot handle something that is as drying or just as not moisturizing honestly as a liquid lipstick so this is going to be a pass for me let alone in the past i have tried the maybelline liquid lipsticks and they were just way too drying for me so this is an easy pass for me but i believe a lot of people on like tiktok are really raving about it honestly my tiktok is nowhere near makeup focused so i don't really know what's really going viral on makeup tiktok um <laughs> so another influencer f famous person whatever is coming out with a beauty inspired brand and this is k skin by winnie harlow i don't actually know much about winnie harlow if we're being honest i believe she was on a modeling show i don't really know i never actually looked into it she's a beautiful person i just you know she's famous i'm not i'm never gonna meet her so there was never really a reason for me to look into it. Regardless, she's coming out with K Skin and it looks like they're going to be releasing face products, body products and more. I'm intrigued more so to see what she is going to bring to the market. Like how is she going to be unique in this brand? That's the only thing that I'm interested in. I do actually need to do um, a re-up on some of my skincare unfortunately and i think one or two body care products as well unfortunately so that probably will be a goal of mine in the month of what are we in march yeah um march but i'm not that person that really runs out for a famous person's range unless it's something that's really really speaking to me i've made that mistake in the past and i'm trying to learn from my mistakes so 
I will most likely not be picking anything up on launch. If people are really raving about the products and the products are really good, then maybe, but otherwise probably not. Clarity Cosmetics is coming out with a huge range of what looks to be cream blushes, I believe. Um, and they are going to be launching on the 18th of March at 8 p.m. CST. I'll try and figure out the conversion to EST and put that on the screen for you all. Um, I've never tried Clarity Cosmetics and I've been interested, but the idea of such huge pans was never something that really made me go there. Plus, I've heard a lot of people say, that Clarity Cosmetics has a very similar formulation to Give Me Glow, and I already know um, that I like Give Me Glow's formulation, so I've just never pulled the trigger, basically. Long story short, I've never pulled the trigger, um, and I actually got tagged. I got tagged in the photo of this of somebody saying that they would love to see me swatch the blushes which is really really cool i don't i've literally i don't think ever gotten a tag on instagram so that's really kind of cool um and i must say there are some shades in here that are unique they would be unique to me there are shades in this range that i've said i've wanted to try from other brands and i just never pulled the trigger for one reason or another there are some yellows i love love a yellow blush i have went through a phase where i was wearing a yellow eyeshadow on my cheeks and it was beautiful i absolutely loved it then there are some more nudier tones and then there are some brighter tones regardless i will try and pick up a couple from this range hopefully it's within my price bracket it also looks like they have highlighters i did not know that so maybe what i'll do is just kind of shop around and get some cheek products from clarity and maybe one eyeshadow palette and just see what i think about the brand overall definitely let me know if there's a particular shade from this huge range um i'll try my best to put a photo that has the whole range and i think there's one that actually has the names under or on the blushes so do comment down below the specific shades that you would like especially if you were the individual that tagged me i I'm, I'm so happy that you tagged me and feel free if you want to tag me and you weren't that person feel free to tag me my instagram is down below it's kaz3 makeup feel free anytime um so mac is also coming out with another range oh that is something that i have in my cart right now actually i have quite a few things in my cart and one was a mac product that i talked about last week with one of the cream blushes they've come to ulta um but this is also a new range and this is a face blush and highlighter palette combo then there's an eyeshadow palette and lipsticks i think the lipsticks look really cute um nothing that is groundbreaking though um and i don't need any more mac brown lipsticks i have so many that's pretty much the only shade that i kept as for the blushes they look really really cute but they don't look like they're gonna really do anything um, they're not going to bring any value to my collection. I have these shades in singles. I have these shades in blushes and highlighters. And because I know I love a glittery highlighter that speaks, okay, when it's on my skin tone, something as like bland as these aren't going to really work. So um, it's going to be a pass for me. Spoiled Lip Cosmetics, which I've talked about this brand before. I don't think I've ever picked anything up from them. They're coming out with new Double Trouble liners and glitter combos. I think this is fantastic and extremely smart. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of YouTubers that are going to run, not walk for this. Because, I mean, honestly, I think it's really smart. I think Butte Bean, or what is she changed her name batty bean i believe i think she gets uh pr still from them so if she gets pr from them and if i happen to watch that video and she thinks they're a really good product maybe i'll pick one or two up i don't really reach for a lot of liners lately i will say that but it's something that i am intrigued by and maybe picking up one to kind of thirst or quench that intrigueness is good or you know i could always just go into my collection of liquid liners and glitter liners and be good with that so we'll see but i do love a yellow you guys know i'll rock a yellow in a heartbeat so maybe i'll pick that one up um i don't know i don't know we'll see we'll see so by rado is available at bloomingdale's and they have come out with this collection where there is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette and a new mascara i feel like this is like now their third mascara or something crazy like that and the mascara isn't cheap it's 46 dollars, bro bro 
I've said it once and I will say it again. I may be stupid when it comes to my makeup purchases and some avenues like that $50 makeup pouch that I got, but I will never spend $40 on a mascara. First of all, mascaras dry out and then they're done. One, ma makeup bags you can use for a lifetime, okay, a lifetime. Second, I have two drugstore mascaras on my eyes right now and my lashes are out there. They're alive and in charge, okay? So you will never catch me spending $46, $46 on a mascara, never in my life, ever. Then we get to the eyeshadow palette and that's $60, $96. Okay, I've spent that on an eyeshadow palette, I really have, but this is so boring. And this is coming from somebody, I have been enjoying neutral eye looks left and right lately left and right pretty much if you clock me at work with makeup it's some form of a neutral look or a muted look i haven't really been coming out with those bright looks although spring is coming okay and i'm clocking for it i'm ready for spring to come um but never you will not catch me even looking at this palette now if um michelle wong does a video i'm in it i'm in it to win it okay but never you will not catch me picking that up. No ma'am, no Pam. So NYX Cosmetics is coming out with some more lip liners. These are their, these are in their range called the Line Loud Vegan Longwear Lip Liner. These are um, sharpable lip liners, which is right up my alley. There's quite the range between nudes. There are some colorful shades and then some dark. I'm intrigued. There's even a black, but then again, some people do like that like 90s black lip line situation um i think it's really really cool uh you know i do have quite a few lip liners though and i am trying to currently get through at least if i can two or three this year uh just because it doesn't seem like a need to really have a surplus of lip liners in my opinion regardless i think i would definitely recommend nip nyx lip liners those are some of my favorites i really do enjoy them uh currently I don't even know what brand I'm panning right now. What brand am I panning? I don't even remember, honestly. I remember that I didn't need it. It's a bite lip liner, that's what it is. Um, but regardless, I've panned NYX lip liners before and they're really nice, they are. Um, and they're also affordable, okay? $8, I'm in it to win it, okay? Wayne Goss came out with two new blush duos and two new lip sticks in his range so previously i believe last year he came out with lipsticks and i think that was during the time where i was just not doing youtube not paying attention to makeup at all and i did not ever pick up a lipstick from his range nothing really to write home about or reason why i just never did i have enjoyed pretty much every wayne goss product that i have in my collection brushes and i think only that one blush highlighter duo that i have which is beautiful it's so so beautiful it the the formulation of that blush is like a satin but like skin like satin finish with an outstandingly beautiful beautiful highlighter the only thing that's like a downside for me when it comes to the highlighter is there's no glitter I really really do gravitate towards a glittery highlighter maybe not in the summer that'll be interesting to see if I still am in the glittery highlighter mood then but right now all winter glitter was my name um so I've rambled on one too many times anyways None of these shades really look like they're really gonna do anything for my skin tone. I'm sure they really help to pad out his range. They're both more neutral tones. And what I will say is this, I have made the mistake of kind of doubting brands in the past thinking that they're not gonna fit my fit for my complexion. And I will say my highlighter that I have, I don't think a lot of people would, you know what, let me get it. Let me get my duo so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I almost had a heart attack cause I could not find my blush duo. But um, this is my blush duo, okay? And this to me in the pictures did not look like it was really gonna do anything to me. It looked like it was gonna be ashy and then a beautiful highlighter. And I was actually very concerned, but it works beautifully. It works so, so beautifully. It's so, so pigmented. It adheres to my skin. And just as you can see my blush today, which honestly I do have to pack on quite a bit, maybe like two or three applications to get to this, um, this amount of uh, color. 
I don't have to do that with the Wayne Goss. Pretty much on the Wayne Goss, I have to like chill out because there's so much pigment in there. So for me, I don't want to underestimate these blush duos, but I'm not positive they really will work for me. If I had to choose, honestly, I would choose the obviously the darker of the two because it would give me, you know, more uh, depth or whatever. So we'll see. We'll see. I do have a cart at um, Beautylish that I still have not picked up where there are some Wayne Gloss brushes and some Sonia G products that I really do want to pick up. Um, honestly, they just, they kind of, I forget about them because I don't know. I just kind of end up forgetting about it. I don't end purchase from Beautylish as often. That said, I doubt I'll ever get a lipstick from them, but I may pick up one or two more blushes because I did want to pick up, there was like a bright azalea blush that I thought would be really cool. And now this one as well. And I do really like a neutral kind of basic Betty blush as you guys are seeing. I'm turning into a basic Betty lately. I really am. Unearthly Cosmetics is launching more blush shades. So in the past, I have wanted to pick up some things from this brand. I do have one product from this brand. And so I actually feel kind of vindicated, if you will, because I watched a video from Tara Babies. She hauled like six palettes from this brand. And if you know Tara Babies, that's like, you know, that's brunch. Okay. She hauls for a living. Okay, that's what she does pretty much. And anyways, um, she was saying how the palette that I felt I had a problem with the mattes, or the, not the mattes, the shimmers because they were so thick and I just didn't like them. She had a very similar issue as well. And so I felt vindicated that like, okay, it's not just me. And then she also highlighted one palette that I thought was intriguing. And she said this was their best formulation in their shimmers. So I am going to keep an eye out for when these actually launch. There's quite the range. I believe this is the first time they've come out with blushes. And it looks like they have swatches on somebody's darker complexion, which is really, really nice. I would probably go for, there's like one like mid-tone orangey deeper one. And then there's like a brighter orangey one. Those would probably be the two that I would take um a crack at you know actually um what's it called actually picking up and seeing if they work for me and if I would like them I know a lot of people also were raving about their like satin liquid lipsticks so maybe this will be a time where I finally give uh, unearthly cosmetics another go and just try a whole bunch of products I do want to go back and watch that one video from Tara babies to get the specific palette that she said they had a really good uh, shimmer formula to see if that's true in my opinion because I do like the brands formulations I like their colors or not bleh. I like the brand's color schemes. I like everything about the brand. I just did not like that shimmer formulation. And for me, especially as I'm trying to reduce the amount of products that I'm bringing into my collection, I'm not going to waste my money or waste that purchase on something that I know is not going to work. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I need water before we talk about this next product because my heart. Natasha Denona is releasing now her pastel palette. This is literally available apparently in Europe. It has been dang near a week now and we haven't heard any news about it coming to the United States. Not even on Natasha Denona's website is this product available. So you know, great. Anyways, these are pastels. If you know me, I love pastels. Pastels are fun colorful way to do like airy flowy looks and I have watched Jenna not Jenna Marble that's somebody completely different Jenna Jenna somebody I don't remember her name I'll have her video down below she's already reviewed this palette she had the palette for like a, a week and then she reviewed it and she talked about pretty much the do's and don'ts when it comes to this palette and I'm gonna say this Okay, I don't think this palette is groundbreaking. I honestly don't even think that this color scheme is all that cute, but I'm not gonna make the same mistake I've made in the past where I pass on a product from Natasha Denona and then two months later, I'm like, why didn't I pick this up? Da -da -da -da. So I'm gonna pick this up. I'm gonna pick her up, okay? There are shadows that repeat from this one and the Tropic palette. I do have the Tropic palette now, so I will go ahead and show you guys those dupes as well. They're the exact same shade um, in both palettes. Um, 
and we'll see I might do some comparisons I have quite a few pastel palettes in my collection so I'll talk to you guys about those so this is definitely going to be something that I pick up whenever it launches in the United States I'm undetermined if I'm going to run to the Natasha Nono website if it goes there first or if I'm going to wait for Sephora I don't know I don't know but I will be picking this up I will be doing a review I will be doing a three looks all of that jazz so stay tuned for that we'll see how it goes Huda Beauty has launched a new shade of her setting powder so this is in the shade cherry blossom for those who have pinker undertones uh, pink undertones I think this is fine um, but I'm not in a rush to get any more powders I'm trying to actually pan as many powders as I can this year hence the full-on matte looks that you guys have been seeing when it comes to my base um, so yeah for me no but you know if you're interested it's 30 34 dollars makeup is just expensive like you never really know until you know man 34 dollars the devil's a lie the devil's a lie okay so dior has come out with their concealer and i'm so so excited i'm so so excited okay this is available but only on the dior website as of right now i am waiting on pins and needles for this to jump onto the sephora website i already have by mario the lip product that i have been waiting for in the exact shade that i've been waiting for is now available on the sephora website as well i literally just don't want to make an order for one product so i'm hoping that like sephora will drop this dior concealer and natasha denone at the same time so i can pick up all three of products that i've been really really excited and really interested to try all at the same time that said i will be picking this up um i don't know which shade i really need to look into the shades a little bit more i tend to wear six in so if four in isn't too light i will go for that if that i would just go for five in but i will be picking this up i have seen one review by tara tara lynn is that her name Tara Lynn, Tara, I don't remember. Once again, I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, she is older and she has a different skin type than me, but she was not fully impressed with this uh, concealer. She was saying that it was not full coverage and that it was patchy. I don't like full coverage concealers, okay? I need medium. I am a strong medium gal when it comes to my complexion, period, the end. So if that's the case, that'll work for me. She's also saying that it was patchy, but she puts on her concealer in a different manner than I do. So I'm still extremely excited for this concealer. I loved the Dior uh, Backstage Powder and also the Dior Backstage foundation so for me this line is just it's everything to me and i want to continue to give it my all i also love the highlighter palette okay all of the backstage products i pretty much enjoyed so i'm gonna more or less pick them up regardless good news sephora is also already sneak peeked that we are going to be getting the vib sale or the spring savings sale at this point it's going to be happening starting april 1st till april 11th i am extremely excited extremely excited there are two expensive expensive uh, fragrances that i really really want like so badly one i refuse to pay full price i will never pay full price the other one i just would like a discount but we'll see what happens either way i am rouge currently so i will be getting the 20 percent off and i already have a friend that is like okay so make sure to be ready for my order too so I'm gonna have her together I'm gonna get myself together and hopefully you have now a plenty of time to save up for any purchases to purchases that you plan to make also I think it's perfect to you know wait until that time period to buy anything and everything that you need to get that discount of course um, right around that same time we've also seen that the 21 days of beauty is going to be happening and this one is going to be happening starting March 13th Ulta always does this where they do their 21 days of beauty before S Sephora to try and get <laughs> all the money from the people so I'm extremely excited um like I said I need some skincare and a couple of body and hair care as well so hopefully I can pick up some products that I need during that sale and maybe some products that I've just been interested in that are already going to be 50% off so really really intrigued Kopari Beauty which is the skincare brand that's based in 
with a lot of coconut oil is coming out with the Sun Shield Body Glow SPF. So this is a SPF of 15 water resistant broad spectrum UVA protection relief safe clear lightweight gel for a non tacky non greasy feeling. It moisturizes with super oils and vitamins to provide a nourish effortless glow with a natural sun protection. It is infused with their signature coconut milk scent. I don't trust it. I don't I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't need it. It looks like it's just like, you know, like petroleum jelly with some glitter. Bro, I have petroleum jelly. Okay? And I have glitter. And I just I don't I don't need it. I don't want it. So I'm a pass. I'm a pass. So I missed the February bundle, but Sydney Grace's March bundle was um, revealed and it's this beautiful beautiful neutral based bundle here you get the brown some blues and some neutral kind of shades I think it's a cute little bundle oh those are all browns okay it's a cute little bundle um, nothing that I feel I really really need although I'm intrigued if those browns are neutral based Anyways, I don't need them. I'm I'm trying to stick with what I have. I stick with that I have. So I'm going to pass, but it's really, really pretty. Danessa Myrick. So I really enjoy her brand, but I find that quite a few of her products just don't work for me or have not in the past or currently. But she is coming out with a new range and it is called the Yummy Skinny Collection. Wow. The Yummy Skin Collection. And this is the first apparently full skincare makeup hybrid collection so i think other brands have just done particular um products and hers is the first collection to do it so she has a foundation or a glow serum which has antioxidant boosting ultra hydrating priming serum that hydrates preps and protects skin from the lit within glow that's 34 dollars um, and it has some other things. Okay, blah. Then she has the foundation, which is $34 as well. It is lightweight moisturizing foundation with good for you serum like benefits that ad adhere, no, addresses <laughs> acne, hyperpigmentation, dark circles, texture, fine lines, and wrinkles. It is medium buildable coverage with a natural radiant skin. Oh, it's 36 flexible shades and there are refillable. Oh my gosh. Okay. So those are the two. I really hope I wasn't too loud for my mic. I apologize. I really do. I am extremely excited for that foundation. I probably will go ahead and pick up the serum. I already have a glow oil from her and I do like to mix that in with foundations that may be a little too matte for me just to give some more kind of hydration to the base and it'll just look a little bit more skin like overall. But bro, that foundation... I probably won't get the serum, honestly. Let's face it. I won't get that serum, but I want that foundation. I want it now. I want it now. So it's available March 8th. What time? What, so that's three days from when I'm filming. So that's two days from when you guys see this. <sighs> I'm getting this. <laughs> I'm getting this foundation. I have been extremely good extremely good when it comes to not picking up foundations that I want not picking up this not picking up that I want this now if I can get a sample maybe I'll go into an actual Sephora and get a sample to make sure I get the right uh, shade and also that I really do like this foundation but this is screaming me medium buildable natural radiant finish We're going to see how good I can do, but don't fight me, okay, if I actually end up picking this up, okay? Because if all of these things drop that I want, the Dior concealer, that foundation, Natasha Denona's palette, all, and I still can get my Mario lipstick, like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Not from myself, not from anybody else, and not from y'all. Okay, anyways, Drunk Elephant is also coming out with a Wonder Wild Miracle Butter. This is supposed to instantly nourish, solve that rescues and soothes dry, chapped, irritated, or compromised skin. Oh, so probably this is working perfectly for them in the mindset to market right before summer when people who get like sunburn and stuff. I don't get sunburn because I'm honestly never outside. 
I'm outside to work out. I'm outside maybe to hang out with some friends at the pool, something like that, but I'm under that shade. Okay, so that's never been a problem for me. So that's an easy pass. La Mer is coming out with two new products. They're coming out with a treatment lotion and a lip polish. Honestly, there's not enough money in the world for me to ever get into this tax bracket where I can spend this type of money. I'm sure the products are good. Um, I believe Mel Thompson used to love La Mer products, if I can remember correctly. But like just for me, no ma'am, no Pam. No ma'am, no Pam. Easy pass for me. Game Beauty is coming out with five highlighters. I believe this is the first time they've come out with highlighters. I believe previously they only had eyeshadow palettes. I've still yet to try this brand, but they're slowly releasing each highlighter and each one has like an elemental pearl. So it's pretty much like video games where you like have to catch them all type situation. So that's kind of really cool. Um, and they also are doing a giveaway where you have to follow them like the post you have to comment in the section to tag a bestie and you have to share the post on your story which is really really cool um hopefully they get some more exposure this way uh either way i don't know i may pick up a highlighter i know angelica Nequis is getting these in pr and these look to be potentially dual chromes because these all have like a white base but they have glitter um and they all i mean i hope they have glitter and it also looks like you know based on the color at the front that's the color that it's kind of reflecting and i do love me i do love me a duochrome highlighter and i do love me so we'll see we'll see it needs to be something unique uh something that i think is going to add value to my collection i do have quite a few uh duochrome highlighters multi-chrome highlighters all of that so we'll see we'll see what happens Beauty Bay has launched new eyeshadow palettes. Now they went, I feel like viral on their first launch of the palettes in this kind of formatting. And since then they've been like, okay, we gonna do them all. We gonna do them all. And okay, let's go through them. The green palettes. So for me, I would never, no, let me not say never. I do not wish to bring in a palette that's the size of their big formulations. I also prefer palettes that have more than their smaller palettes in this uh, range. So the medium palettes are really the ones that I am really looking at. And for me, the medium green does not have enough diversity. And those color scheme or those shades, I have them. I really do. So to me, it's an easy pass. Then you go to the purple one and I think it's cute but i'm not like feeling like i have to bring that into my collection so once again that's another pass and then you have the pinky one and i think honestly that's the one that i feel most drawn to that one is eleven dollars that's not terrible i do have a mind to go through and do a beauty bay order there are quite a few brands that are available on beauty bay that i would like to try out um and beauty bay is one of them along with like what is it makeup by mitchell and then there's some other brand that has a bronzer that i really want to either way um that would be the only one that i would potentially get i think that would actually add value to my collection and i'm actually actually interested in it i like the range i do know that angelica nequis picked up all of the medium sized palettes from this range she said that in her video so i will definitely be watching out for a video from her and if she happens to do the video before i pick it up and she's not really loving it then maybe i won't pick them up who knows but um that is the only one that i am halfway intrigued by and i think it would add something different to my collection when it comes to eyeshadow palette wise i am just talking up a storm today okay i apologize to you and to me because i have to edit this okay so morphe is doing a new collaboration with lucky charms you know i never really liked lucky charms the marshmallows just always tasted stale was it just me they always tasted stale and i just could not handle it anyways they have a new collaboration with them and i must say i like the color scheme i really do it's nice it's nice. It's $22 for the palette, $10 for the lip gloss, uh, $15 for the pencil set, and then $29 for the brush set. I think the palette is cute. It's fine. Am I going to run for it? No. Honestly, if I could like cut this palette in half and get the last three rows where you get like those uh, periwinkles, those teals, and those greens, I would pick it up. 
I would pick it up. But I don't really need it. I mean, maybe it's the the what's it called? Maybe it's the um the the viewpoint and maybe I really will be intrigued. I do have a mind to go into an Ulta store, um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna run for it, that's for sure, but if it's available um, at Ulta to swatch and if I'm intrigued by it after I swatch it, then I'll pick it up. It's not that expensive um, and I haven't been bringing in all that many eyeshadow palettes that I feel overwhelmed. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Pat McGrath is coming out with a new kit. This is her Dark Star 006 Volume 3 kit. This gives you the Maran Mixing Medium, um, a black eyeliner, a eyeshadow, and then an eye gloss. I've never picked up one of these kits. They're just not for me. They're for people who do more avant-garde makeup looks. I do basic Betty looks, okay? I do very basic Betty looks, not for me. Easy pass on that i see wifey cosmetics is coming out with a big pur eyeshadow palette and this is cute this is a cute little eyeshadow palette i like it i like the color scheme i like that these look like these are actual metallics there are 20 highly pigmented um eyeshadows i'm intrigued i really am i've not heard of this brand i don't think who knows who knows uh it looks like did i say the price it's 35 dollars in case you um i didn't say it i'm more intrigued with whether these are these are glitters i don't like glitters i really don't so this is going to be a pass for me unfortunately i thought those were metallics those are glitters so yeah that's unfortunately going to be passed it's a really pretty palette i was looking into it i was actually going to pick up one of the palettes up but i'm good Makeup Geek is closing down. I'm sure you've seen the videos lately. People have been talking about it. They are going to be closing at the end of April, which is quite abrupt um, for such a big brand. I mean, they're being sold in Target. They've been known for how long? That's really, really crazy that they are they're, um, no longer. But yeah, they're no longer. And... You know, it's so unfortunate, but I hope that Marlena can move forward um, and do what she loves and find another way to, you know, reach the people who are already towards her. I think she already has like a, a clothing brand too. So hopefully that clothing brand is doing well and that she can financially stay afloat. Uh, there are a couple of things from Makeup Geek that I really did enjoy, uh, but I was never really a huge diehard. So thankfully this is not a huge blow to me and I hope it's not too big of a blow to you, but if it is, I say scratch up everything that you want. Get it all up. Ace Beauté is coming out with a lip collection. This is their Pout Perfect Lip Collection, where they have liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, and lip oils. For me, I think this range is nice. It's a nice like beginner range. They have some nudes. They have some brights, more bright reds than anything. The one thing that I'm like, huh? is the packaging this seems too luxe for ace beauté and i don't mean to be say that disrespectfully but like i feel like as a brand right you have to have a certain type of aesthetic a certain type of vibe and this just does not scream to me ace beauté's vibe or aesthetic you know what i mean like it just seems too up here like to me this is more of like Jamie Genevieve's Vive brand. Like I could see this being launched from Vive. I can see this being launched from even like a Wayne Goss, even though he's a little bit more sleeker. But like it just doesn't scream to me Ace Beauté. Either way, I'm probably not gonna pick up anything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a glow tonic. So this is going to be allowing you to get, you know, glow your skin from your skincare and all that jazz i think it's cute um i am not loyal when it comes to tonics and i'm sure this is going to be too expensive a tonic for me so for right now i'm thinking it's going to be a pass who knows though who knows mac is launching new mascaras um so Oh, but they're double stacked. So you get two different types of wands in 
each mascara at least that's what i think i don't really know they're 28 dollars each i am not a huge mac makeup purchaser anymore so there's nothing revolutionary to me unless i see some like amazing eye like in-person videos uh so for me i am gonna go ahead and pass another closure that i did not expect is from dd signature so this brand has been blowing up lately because of the last couple of palettes have been it beautiful formulas from what people have been saying but it seems like the brand owner needed to just take a step back um and so she had to close the store so yeah that's very very um sad hopefully she can come back from whatever it is that's um making her close her store and hopefully then people are ready to buy from her again and all that jazz and then the last thing i want to talk about is makeup revolution is coming out with a cheese collection honestly i'm honestly confused like who decided they needed to do a charcuterie board collection and why it just doesn't make any sense and then the the sponge is creepy why is there a mouse like digitally imprinted on the like no i just i'm confused i have questions and i feel like nobody's ever going to be able to answer them so that's going to be an easy pass for me so so we have a lot a lot that i am interested in as i was rambling on throughout this video i really want that danessa myricks foundation i want that dior concealer i want the natasha denona um eyeshadow palette the the product that's already in my cart and then i am intrigued to stay tuned for both the beauty bay eyeshadow palette and then of course the game beauty um highlighters and then eventually maybe i'll pick up some of those there, there there's so much there's so much there's so much that i'm interested in this week which is disheartening i'm really hoping that i don't pick up too too much i really need to be good so that i can save my money for the sephora sale because i like i said that one um perfume that i want is 200 dollars. i i'm not spending 200 dollars. okay i need that 20 percent off okay so that's going to be easily like one something just for that and i know i'm going to want to pick up at least a couple more things so anyways hopefully i'm able to kind of pull myself in a little bit and maybe wait to buy like the wayne goss until like the beautylish gift card event or something like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video quite a lot of talking i would love to hear your opinions down below um and yeah i'll see you guys on wednesday i have no idea what i'm going to be posting but hopefully it's something good Alrighty, guys i'll see you wednesday bye